guys welcome back to my channel so it has been a really really long time since I've done a day in the lifestyle video like a vlog style video but I decided this week that I just felt like doing that um, just taking a day and vlogging what we're doing in a day I feel like every day is so different um, we don't have like a major routine or anything so today this morning we got up um, and the girls had like some granola for breakfast and I mixed up a batch of English muffins that I'm going to be making later the dough is rising right now and we are actually sitting in front of Habitat for Humanity if you don't know what that is it's kind of like a place where you can get light fixtures and flooring and furniture things for your home um, that would be like a secondhand or maybe something that a store didn't want anymore things like that so we're gonna go in and check this out I've never been to a Habitat for Humanity but um, I've seen other people on Instagram and stuff that have found some really neat stuff at them so I'm really excited about that the girls are with me and um, I think we're gonna have to get some lunch here after a while and I don't know what else we'll do today but you can come along with us and find out I got um, a few things that I need for some upcoming projects at Habitat. I got like a paint roller and some paint brushes. It was like a couple dollars, which is awesome. So if you have a Habitat near you, I highly recommend it because they have like rugs and stuff like that. But we are going to stop in a little restaurant really quickly and have a bite to eat. And we may go into a couple of the sp small business owned shops here that are near this restaurant. Um, I love being able to support them, particularly right now with where you know our country is and everything like that. So yeah, I guess this is what we're doing. I didn't really plan on this, but I just decided, you know what, let's go eat small somewhere. Let's support somebody's small restaurant. our lunch which we stopped at a Mexican food place it was so delicious really good I haven't had like okay. sit in Mexican food in a long time there's so many taco trucks and stuff like that here but I haven't sat in a restaurant and actually eaten in a long time it was so good and now we're actually getting ready to go into Lowe's um, I am working on my next project which is our laundry room and I'm gonna be doing some fun stuff in there I don't want to give it away too much but I do need to go in here and look at some supplies and just get a few things that we need and I'll probably of course check out the garden center while I'm here. All 
All right, guys, so we are home. The girls are laying down for their naps right now. If I look a little pink, it's because my in-laws were here over the weekend and we did a beach run and we're there for the day. Um, if you're new around here, we live about two hours from the ocean, from the beach. So I got really burnt over the weekend with them being here and that's fine. I'll just start my summer tan. So unfortunately, I did not find anything I was looking for. I was looking for a new rug for here in the kitchen. We stopped at TJ Maxx. I didn't find anything like that, but I did find some books for the girls um, And then at Lowe's I was looking into the supplies that we would need to do what I want to do in the laundry room And it was actually a little bit higher priced than I initially thought So I might have to hold off on that project just a little while longer until it's more in the budget um, and yeah, that happens to me too. There's times where I get these great ideas and I do have to kind of go with what works the best financially. And so anyways, but now I know how much it actually costs and I know how much I need um, to budget out for doing that. So right now, since the girls are taking their naps, I am going to be starting dinner here after a while. We were out and about a lot longer than I expected today. Um, so before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my dishes back here, just kind of get the house ready read it up a little bit and then I'm going to start in on dinner. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down I've got supper rolling. I put my burgers on over there and then I just got this out. Um, I had been letting this rise. I have a closet that's kind of warm. I know it sounds funny, but whenever um, sourdough is warm is whenever it rises best. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my English muffins so that they can rise again. And then I will be making these a little bit later. I'm probably gonna let them rise about an hour or so. Oh. 
while my heart starts racing when I'm with you. I'm working on making the English muffins and I did not know this until I went to make these um, but they're actually made in a frying pan you'd never bake them which is really interesting um, it's made in a dry frying pan with cornmeal and so after they've risen and this time I'm a little disappointed in how they look um, this was my first time making them with whole wheat flour instead of white flour and they definitely rose up and got a lot thicker with the white flour this time around they're like a little more thin looking they'll work fine I use them for breakfast sandwiches um, but I don't know if I'm going to make them again with the whole wheat flour or if my next batch I'll go back to using the white flour um, but either way they're delicious we love having them with like apple butter and butter or just jelly that kind of thing and they make really great little vehicles for your breakfast sandwiches and the recipe explains it good but basically you cook them on either side on kind of like a low heat on your stovetop for four minutes on each side and then they get this like very distinct English muffin look to them and yeah they're that easy to make This is the next day and as you can see I've got some cleaning motivation for you. <laughs> I have been out of my groove you guys. Normally I like to do one load a day of laundry but ever since we went away for a couple weeks to Pennsylvania which is where we grew up and where our families are. We live in North Carolina right now but um, we went away for a few weeks and were there. I just have been so out of my groove and really want to get back on top of doing a load a day. So one of my biggest goals this day was definitely to get all of the laundry done, put away, and caught up. Another project I have coming up, and I have so many right now, I have so many ideas and so many things that I'm gonna be doing, and sometimes it's really hard for me to pick one thing and hone in on it, um, but I wanna do a refresh on this bedroom. I've been collecting things here and there, and it is coming soon, but let me know in the comments whenever you feel overwhelmed or have too many projects going on, how you decide which one to do first. i
We had so much fun with my in-laws at the beach this past weekend. I know I posted a little bit about it on my Instagram stories and if you guys want to keep up with me a little bit more on a day-to-day -day basis, definitely head over there and follow me. Um, I do a lot more like motivating things and projects and stuff like that here on my YouTube channel, but I do a little more day-to-day -day on my Instagram page. I hope this video gave you some motivation and some inspiration. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.